Hey everybody, this is Brian from PMB Homesteading again, and I'm uh, doing some more dehydrating. And I thought I would show how I'm going to save some of my tomato seeds from the cuttings that I've done that I've been put in the dehydrator. So what I'm going to be saving today is some of the uh, the pink boar tomatoes that I've uh, been growing out in the garden this year. They're uh, they're kind of like well, I guess I don't have an example of them sitting here, but I showed them in my other videos. They're uh, pink, kind of pinkish, uh, red, and they have a green stripe on them. They kind of look like a zebra tomato, as some people call them. But uh, these are uh, the specific variant are called uh, pink boar. So they're a little bit bigger than the zebra. The zebra are about that big, and the pink boars on average are probably about that big. So it's just a different variant, same similar type. But anyway, so what I'm going to do here is I got a little jar, a little mason jar, a ball jar, and I've labeled it pink boar tomato seeds. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape the seeds with the pulp and everything inside this jar. And put that in there. You know, you can try and pick out some of this pulpy stuff, but a lot of the seeds are attached to that, so they kind of, you know, you lose some seed that way. So I just figure I'll just scrape it on in here. Much of the seeds I can get in there, because the next step in the process is going to get rid of that pulpy crap, you know, stuff in there. <laughs> almost, almost said something there. <laughs> I figure this is one of the ones I wanted to save seed for, because I'm actually going to try and germinate some of this again next spring, because I really like the way these uh, these come off the vine. They're really easy to pick. So we got most of them in there. You can kind of. You know, sop up over the rest of this little stuff here. Grab a nice squeegee or something and dump in there. All right, that's good enough. So now, well, you won't really be able to see this next part, but I'm going to take this over and I'm going to put a little water in here with this. Probably fill it about halfway up. See it's about halfway now, a little closer to the camera. And now you can see that uh, the pulpy stuff is kind of floating and rising to the top. And what's going to happen is see all the good tomatoes. Eventually, what you want is you want all the, the good ones are going to float to the or, you know sink to the bottom. The bad ones will usually float to the surface along with the pulpiness. And so what I'll do now is I'm going to put a lid on it. I'm just using one of my Weiss Tatler lids reusable type. Put that on there. Screw this down, snug it. I'm kind of get it shape. I'm going to let that settle out on the counter. I'll kind of let that sit there for 24 hours and then I'm going to open that up and uh, dig out some of the pulpy stuff out and then I'll do that same process again until I get it pretty clear and I've got a definite seed separation in the, uh, the contents in there and then I'll take the seeds out, put them on a paper towel, let them air dry and uh, once they're all completely dry I'll put them in an envelope, label that envelope, and save them down underneath with my seed stores for the next year. That's kind of it. Alright, talk to you guys again. This has been Brian, PNB Homesteading. Talk to you later. Bye.